Hi, Steve. My name is Sophia Lorenzi, and I want to go to law school because I want to completely reform and overhaul our entire criminal justice system. Simple. That's, that's, that's it. Um, I'm going to go back to the beginning of my sort of path to this, kind of rapid fire, explain my background, and then tell you a little bit more about what I hope to do with a law degree. But as fast as I can, I will try. Um, I think it started when I was really young, probably around 11 or 12, and developed a, a strong fascination and fear of specifically the death penalty. Um, and I tried to, I did do a lot of reading and research into it to assuage my kind of panic that being executed is something that could happen to me. Um, I learned that that would be unlikely, but that for many people in our country, specifically black men in the South, um, among other places, but the chances of being wrongfully convicted and executed were and are still quite high. Um, and then regardless of whether someone was guilty or not, I just was horrified at the real realization that um, we kill people who kill people as if, of course, someone who, who kills someone else has something deeply wrong with them. Um, so this has sort of always existed in the back of my mind. I went to school, um, I went to undergrad at Stanford and studied psychology and neuroscience with this lens of what is the behavior behind crime? Why do people commit crime? Um, kept integrated that into my studies in a lot of different ways that are a little too much to go into now, but including writing a thesis on um, the developmental period of 18 to 25 and how that should be a distinct um, period of criminal intervention, like a sub distinct from juvenile system and adult system and kind of a proposal for, for what that might look like. Um, so I really had this bend towards public interest law for a really long time, but I didn't want to go right to law school because um, I always, I was never 100% sure that that would be the best method, first of all. And then second of all, I didn't want to just go into school with the more school without practical in the field, on the ground experience, um, at least a little bit to give me a better sense of what are the issues, how do they really play out before I come in with this attitude of I'm just going to, I have some good ideas and I'm going to enact them. So I decided to um, go back to my roots, if you will, on my passion for or against the death penalty, not for the death penalty, and I moved to Louisiana. I worked as an investigative intern at the Capitol Post-Conviction Project, and then I moved to Nashville, where I am now for the past two years. I've been an investigator, primarily mitigation investigation for um, people on death row in post-conviction cases, and I have done clemency work as well. Um, now I'm in the process of leaving my job and figuring out my next steps, which I think do include law school. I still struggle with working the fact that law itself, when you're a lawyer, you're inherently in the system. Um, but my goal is to find a way, whether that's through creating a nonprofit or company or, or connecting with people who are already doing work in that realm to change the system and for me, a big part of it is fundamentally asking questions of what is a crime? How do we define crime? Um, who are the people who commit crimes and why do they commit crimes? And how do we respond to those people? What, what are our interventions and what is our goal of those interventions? To say that right now our system is anything other than punishment is absurd um, and it doesn't it doesn't change anything. It doesn't address the underlying causes of crime. I really believe that crime is a symptom of many, many social um, ills, as well as an, a, a, it, it's a catch-all for um, the criminal justice system. is a catch-all for a lot of other system failures. So. This is a very kind of holistic and rapid-fire version of all the reasons that I feel like I need law school to go after this, this dream and big, big-time goal of mine. Thanks for tuning into the show. 
please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.